Hi, it's Diane, and I'm going to try something new here. I've never opened a package on, you know, live on film video. There's no film. But I got a package today, and I took it out of the box. I started going through some of the things, and then I thought, I, I really would like to try doing this on camera. I did a private swap for a um, Flowish journal with um, Susan Broussard. And I received my box today. She put it in. She put it in a larger box and uh, stuffed that box full. And I am so excited to see what's in it. I already read the lovely card that she sent to me. And some of the things were were just loose in the box. I pulled them out. There was this tube that she made. I'm sorry. Try to watch my camera. Um, tube she made out of decorative card stock and tied with a pretty ribbon and put a dragonfly charm on it and inside the tube were rolled up some of these pieces and then some of them were just in the box stuffed in the box so I'm just going to go through these and then I'll get to the things that I haven't seen yet isn't that pretty I'm so excited about these trims that you sent me I love this I'm going to try to go quickly so I don't take too long. This is gorgeous. I'll take a nice wide ribbon through that. <clears throat> and I love this embroidered lace. Gorgeous. This is a really pretty cotton trim. Oops, I think it was backwards. Maybe not. Nope, this is the right way. So pretty. I can just imagine the journals these are going to go on. There's some gathered lace. Quite a long piece of that. And I love this crocheted lace. It looks antique. These, A lot of these look um, vintage. I don't know how vintage they are, but I, I'll swear that they're not new. I don't swear. <laughs> There's another crocheted piece. These will be so great on vintage journals. This is a wide piece. Oh, how pretty is that? I can't wait to put that on a book. Oh, so pretty. And the other things that I already saw were these. Susan, I love these and I haven't had them in years. I used to get them every Christmas, but I haven't been buying them, so I'm looking forward to that. And these are another one of my favorites, Andy's, Andy's Mints, and I love these. So, how did you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Already, I haven't even gotten to the journal yet, and I'm already thrilled. Okay, let's see what this little packet is. Hmm, it's tied in a knot. There we go. Envelopes, homemade envelopes, made out of the sturdy cardstock type of patterned paper. These are great. Love the designs. <laughs> oh, thank you. These will definitely get used. And then look how pretty this is. There's a nice little safety pin here with a little ribbon flower and a little blue dangle. So pretty. Tied on a pretty blue ribbon. Oh, I'm going to read this later. A little bookmark. Um, I won't even open this on camera. I just saw enough of the note to 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 see that it was a book given to her when she lost her husband years ago and she knows that I just lost my husband and um, she's a bit she's been a big encouragement to me so I will open that up later here's a packet wrapped in this lovely brown crinkly paper oh it's two bags tucked inside each other. <laughs> How clever. Oh, I like this. Did you make that? 
Oh, I think she made that. How cute. And two lined papers in there. I use them for myself and also I glue things like that onto um, pages of junk journals so they can be written on. And here's another folder. Uh, City of Lake Charles. Maybe this is um, near where she lives in Missouri. Message pad. To-do list. I love all these things. Some yellow lined paper with holes. Activity paper pad. Oh, look at that. All this denim design paper. That is really cool. And some stickers. They're cute. I like the colors. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. I'm saving this one because it's so pretty. Some glittery tissue paper is wrapped on this. Probably should have been more careful, but it's already got some holes in it. Journal tags from Studio 112. That's like the Joann's dollar spot. I've gotten some things there before, so these are really pretty tags. Thank you, Susan. And a weekly list, magnetic list pad, and this will be great glued to pages or tucked in envelopes, too, in junk journals. Oh, boy, artsy. I know they sell these at Michael's. I don't know if they're sold other places, this brand. I probably won't go through everything in here, but I have to see a little bit. It's got some twine and love. Some little bits. The Lord's Prayer. I think these are stickers. And stickers. And papers. How nice. This will be fun. Yay! And then this one. I'm not going to open this one, but it looks like it's the same type of thing with just a different theme. This one, look, the first one looked like it had a religious theme, which is great because Susan and I both know that we're religious, if you want to use that word. It's not a word I like, but it, I have a, a faith in God. And she knows that. And some decorative frames. Prima. How pretty. And there's a heart-shaped one, too. I think they're metal. They look metal. And behind them, I don't know if they're stickers or just things to cut out, but they will be used, too. Very nice. And we're not done yet. She gave me these two folders. I love Mary Engelbright. And I love peanuts. It's like, it's like you know all these things about me that we've never talked about, Susan. <laughs> this has a big, wide uh, mustache. Oh, you're not seeing it. Washi tape on it to hold it shut. You have a very clever way of packaging things. This has some 6x6 six six papers in it. Very nice. Very nice. And some German. Looks like vintage German paper. Look at the type the font on that. Pretty. Can't wait to use that. It's quite a few pages of that. And there's another book with the same type of font. And, oh, interesting. Interesting. That's a vintage book. That will be used in junk journals. I like old book pages. And... Well, this is Spanish, so I don't know what kind of book it is. But just because it's Spanish, it's cool. So those will definitely get used. There's some coloring pages here. And some... I don't know what kind of paper that, that is, but it's multicolored papers here. There's a nice texture. Nice feel to the paper. This says... St. Louis, KPLR-TV. How oh, cool. I like that paper. And this is like parchment. 
parchment paper, which I tried to find and couldn't. So I'm glad to have that and some other paper here. Paper, paper, paper. And there's a smaller mustache paper on, or washi tape on this one. And this one has stickers, it looks like. There's some sticker strips. Love, border. These are neat. Kelly Parkey or Perky from Basic Gray. Stickers, alphabet stickers with this really nice fence border. Halloween stickers, they're fun. If the broom fits, write it. <laughs> That's nice. And some border stickers, pencils. Save the pandas. <laughs> An eraser. Basic gray again. Ooh, these are pretty. Some border stickers. And K and Company. Vellum stickers. Very nice. Lovely. All right, now I'm going to get to this. Um, it's I'm going to try to hurry because I don't, I don't want this to be more than 15 minutes and then I'll have to do another one for the journal. It has two pieces of crochet lace and then this kind of lace. So pretty. Oh, look at that. And it has a pretty little bead, a pearl, and a cross there. This is really pretty. This feels like a book. Oh, favorite spiritual songs number two. This is an oldie. Oh, look at how brown that paper is. It's so old. This is nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to stop the video here, and then I will start again with the journal.